As the flag referendum approaches, residents are considering the five alternative designs. University of Otago design lecturer Dr Mark Maguire thinks the flag should be changed and he's here to tell us why. Good evening. Hi Rebecca. What is your preferred flag design? Well I would have said none if it were the four but now that we have the fifth I'd say the red peak. Why? I think it's the only of one of the five options now available that actually looks like a flag. The others work well, I think, as logos, but there's a difference between a logo and a flag. A logo differentiates a, a brand, a product, a service, but a flag is a symbol of a country, and we've only got one design that I think serves that purpose. Although Red Peak is closely aligned with the logo of a business in America, I believe. You know yes, I read that in the paper, <laughs> in the ODT, I think, but uh, it's a small company. Uh, I think it's accidental, and they themselves apparently are not concerned. Mm. How do you think it will better represent New Zealand? I think it brings us up to date visually. It uh, suggests that we're standing on our own. We've grown up, we've matured, and we need an updated uh, representation of what the country stands for. It tells a good story, uh, it's visually strong, and it stands up well along other flags. Mm. Now you haven't, uh, as, you, as you alluded to, you haven't always supported the flag change. Why has no. Red Peak really changed your mind? Well, when I first saw the long list of 40, there were none there that really jumped out at me. Uh, I only became really interested in what was going on when we saw the short list of four. Uh, I was very disappointed. Uh, I would have voted not to change the flag if we only had those four options. I started following the discussion online. Uh, the hashtag for NZ flag was very uh, popular on Twitter, as was uh, hashtag Red Peak. And over time, the Red Peak design grew on me. I read about the story behind it. It made sense. I think it's rich, both in terms of its narrative and uh, visually it's very strong. So I think uh, it, it convinced me over time. What do you say to people who think that the current flag should remain? I respect their view. Uh, I think we always want to remain um, tied to our history, but uh, we also have to look forward, look ahead. And as I, uh, I'm a Canadian, I've been here 22 years, and uh, Canada changed its flag to our well-known and I think terrific maple leaf with the red bars on either side in 1965, and yet the country is still a constitutional monarchy, as New Zealand is. So you're not entirely changing or breaking your ties to the past or, say, to the United Kingdom, uh, to Britain, by changing the flag, but it does bring things up to date, and it says we're here, we're strong, we're standing on our own two feet, and recognize us. Are there any serious ramifications of changing the flag? Well, not that I can tell. Uh, I think the change will be a positive one. I can't see that there's any constitutional issue or other issue that we should be concerned about that would hold us back from uh, making a change that's well overdue. Uh, example, uh, the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi, is that likely to become null and void if the flag is changed? Not that I've heard or I'm aware of. I can't see that there's any constitutional issue that would, would get in the way. Mm. Do you think the flag will be changed? I think it will be changed. Uh, I think, too, if there is a vote with the five, uh, the Red Peak would likely win out, uh, partly because those that prefer the Silver Fern will have three choices to uh, choose between, and so their vote's going to be divided. But also, I think, as people uh, think and look and read uh, the discussions around the flag, they'll realize that the Red Peak is a stronger design. Uh, one example that I saw online that I tried myself is that if you take a bit of paper that's in the proportion of one to two, Right, so it's the, the width is twice the height, right? Mm -hmm. And you fold it in half three times. Then the creases will give you all the points you need for the red peak. So you can draw it very simply, very quickly. A child could do this. And I think a flag has to be owned by its people. It has to be able to be drawn easily by anyone, including children. Uh, it, there's a site online now. It's, I think it's called um, uh, Red Peak of New Zealand and people have crowdsourced, they put up their designs that they've made where they apply the Red Peak design to everyday objects, so skateboards, hats, dresses, and in one case, fingernails. And it looks beautiful. So I think that's the test of a real flag. Can you paint the flag on your fingernails? It should work at that size, and if it doesn't, it's not a good flag design. Well, that's something that you could try at home, I guess. I think so. University of Otago design lecturer, Dr. Mark McGuire, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.